Okay everybody, welcome once again to linuxin.com YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to show you that how you can install Tomcat in your Ubuntu system. Okay, so you can say what Tomcat is and what it is used for. So the answer to your question is that Tomcat is an open source web server and servlet container from Apache. It allows JASP or Java server pages. Uh, it allows that code to run as well as Java, Java servlets. Okay, so Tomcat includes three components for its different functions. Uh, the number one is HTTP connector. The other one is Catalina or servlet uh, or servlet container. Excuse me. And the third one is JSP or Jasper. All right. So let's see how we can install this wonderful server on this uh, Ubuntu machine. Okay. So first of all, you have to create a group and then you have to create a user. And then after that, you would create directories and other stuff. Okay. So there are some uh, specific steps that we're going to take uh, and let's see how we can do it. So first of all, we'll open up our terminal as we always do. We press Control Alt T and we open up our terminal. Let me zoom in a little bit. Okay. So all the commands, I'm going to put them in the description and the thing is that we have to actually edit some of the files as well so in those fi specific files we need to put in some content all right so what i'm going to do that i'm going to put everything that i have here in the description so you won't be able to execute everything without watching the video okay so you have to watch the complete video and then simply take these commands from the description and then paste them and do your work okay so the first command that we're gonna pass is this one which is sudo group add tomcat okay so we are going to create the user uh, so first of all we'd create the group all right so we just paste here the command and we'd hit enter it is going to ask us for the password we hit enter and it has basically created the group successfully you can see there is no error all right so now we are going to basically add the user okay uh, so we'll just simply copy the second command and uh, we come here and we will just simply paste it right here we hit enter and you can see that it has not given us any error here as well so it means that uh, the user has been created successfully as well so now what we would do would basically create this opt slash tomcat directory all right so we we'll just go ahead and uh, we just simply paste it right here and we hit the enter and you can see that opt slash tomcat directory has been created so now what we're going to do is that we are going to download tomcat uh, the latest version of tomcat is tomcat 9 so i have uh, this link here okay so what you're going to do is that you're going to go uh, to their website and then you can basically uh, copy the link to their latest version and then you can paste that link ahead of it okay wget and then the link so let's try to do that okay so we we'll just go to our browser and uh, in here we would write here tomcat apache so we hit enter and now it would basically show us a few of some of the results so we'll just directly click on this download button and it would take us to a page where we can actually download the different versions of uh, tomcat all right so here under the code you can see that zip is for windows and this star.gz is for linux so what we would do would basically copy the link okay copy the link location and then we come here and uh, we just simply paste it right here all right so here make sure that you have that link okay so now what you would do you would copy this entire line w get all right and then you would go to your uh, terminal and in here you're just gonna paste it okay so we hit enter and now you can see that it has started to download that uh, apache tomcat 8.5.45 which is the latest one okay so uh, we know that this is 8.5 version so all we have to do is that we have to write here 8 and then the static okay static would basically cover everything 
uh, I mean these uh, this one v8.5.45 okay you don't need to write all of that uh, what you have to do is just write static after 8 and it would basically uh, cover all of that okay so now in our terminal it is basically downloading it and you can see that now it is about to download 100 percent and now it has been completed okay so now it is downloaded but it it is a tar.gz file so we need to extract uh, the contents all right so what we would do we would just simply clear it and now we would paste this command here which would basically unzip okay it would unzip this uh, file or folder or directory that we have downloaded so we just go here we paste it we hit enter and now you can see that it has basically extracted it successfully all right so now we'll move on and now we'll move to this uh, directory that we have created all right so we'll just simply clear it and in this directory we have extracted that that file as well okay so now you can see that we are inside the slash opt slash tomcat directory so now we would use the ch group command to basically change the group all right so what we would do we would just simply paste this command here we hit enter and you can see that the group has been changed there there, there are no errors all right so now uh, the next command is related to the ch mod and ch mod is basically related to the file permissions which i have explained in detail in another video so what i'm going to do that i'm going to put the link in the description to that video as well so that you can go and you can watch that video um, and you will understand file permissions in a better way all right so i'm just going to paste this command here as well okay and uh, the next thing i'm gonna do that i'm gonna change the permission to the con file and uh, uh, i'm gonna add the executable permission uh, to this file as well okay so i paste it you can see that there are no errors so now what we would do would basically copy this command would change the owner and we have this logs directory in here you might have in another directory you might have this log directory so we would ls here so right now you can see that here we have logs all right so in most cases maybe sometimes you have this directory in the web app all right then you have the work directory then you have temp directory and then you have the logs directory so, so usually what would happen that uh, in the web apps you would have work and in the work you would have temp and in the temp directory you might have logs so just take a look at your directory uh, in what order uh, you have things all right so now we'll just go here and we just simply uh, copy this command to change the owner okay and uh, we'd assign tomcat as the owner tomcat uh, the group and the user that we have added previously okay so now you can see that it has not given us any errors so now what we would do would come here and in here we are just going to uh, check the java alternatives in which we'd have the path that we need okay so right now here this is the path uh, that we need which is basically user lib jvm java all right so what we would do would just simply uh, copy this so let me just copy it from here we we'll just copy it and we go back here and now uh, what we're gonna do is that we are gonna open this file from here and uh, basically the path we are gonna use I think it's gonna be this one okay so what we are gonna do is that we're gonna open this file from here all right and uh, we just paste it right here we hit enter and you can see that this file is right now it's empty right so what we're going to do that we are going to paste this content that we have here all right so make sure that you copy it from here till this wanted by equals to multi uh, hyphen user dot target okay so you just simply copy it and then you go here and then you simply paste it and here you need to make one change and that is basically you go up here and here uh instead of having the java uh, paste the copied path here you are going to paste that path that i have shown you previously okay so let me show you that path once again so that you can uh, get a clearer picture of that okay 
So here we can see that we might need to open up another terminal. All right, we open up another terminal and we go to cd slash opt slash tomcat. Okay, and in here we basically uh, paste that command to get the path. All right, so this is the Java alternatives command. So we just simply go here. We paste it right here. Uh, we hit enter. It is going to ask us for the password. And here, this is the path that we that we need. All right. So we'll just simply copy this path. We uh, copy it. We let me just close it. And then after copying, what uh, what we are going to do is that we are just simply going to paste it right here. Okay. So after pasting it, what you would do, you would simply uh, save the file. All right. So it would just come out and now we would basically try to do that. Okay. So what we would do now, uh, we would come here. All right. And we'd try to run this command in which we'd basically daemon reload. We just go here, we paste it. You can see that it has not given us any error. So now would basically start the service. Okay. Start the Tomcat. So we just simply copy it and we paste it uh, and you can see that it has not given us any error so it means that now we can basically check the status of the tomcat as well so we just simply copy it or we can write here sudo systemctl uh, status tomcat we hit enter and now you can see that it is basically giving us a green uh, service button or the green sort of light so it means that the uh, service is active and it is running all right so now what we are going to do is that we are going to let me just uh, close it let me just come out of it let me just clear it and now we are basically going to change the port all right so what we would do would use the 8080 port for tomcat so in order to assign it the 8080 port we'd have this command we hit enter and you can see that it says rules updated all right so now what we would do would basically open up this XML file and we just add at the end of it, we just add this one line to have the admin and the password. Okay. Uh, admin as the username and the password as password for Tomcat. Okay. So we just simply go ahead and we open this XML file. So we just simply copy that uh, command and we just simply paste it right here. We hit enter and you can see that there is like this huge file here so now what we are going to do that at the end of this file all right right here we are just simply going to paste this one line which would basically assign them the password and the username okay so that's what we wanted in the first place so we paste it right here now we basically control o we save it and now we come out of here Okay, in the end, make sure that you basically have this work directory, okay? As I have shown you previously, uh, you have this work directory in your opt slash tomcat folder. And what you need to do is that you need to change the owner of this directory to tomcat as well, okay? So this is basically your output directory and you need to uh, make sure that this step has been done. So I would basically add this command uh, in the description as well. Okay, so if I uh, hit enter you can see that there are uh, No errors. So let me just basically copy it and uh, You know, I would just paste it right here and I would put that uh, Command in the description as well so that you remember. All right So now what we are gonna do uh, is that we are going to restart our tomcat service Okay, so we just simply copy it and we just come here and we run it so we hit enter and you can see that there are no errors and our tomcat service has been restarted so now what we would do would come back here would write here local host and then we go to the port 8080 we hit enter and uh, here you would be able to see the apache tomcat here you can see that we have the apache tomcat Installed successfully. All right, and if you want to log in uh, Then you have to click on this uh, Manager app and here you can 
give your username and I think it was admin and the password was password uh, that we have changed in the XML file and if now if we hit OK you can see that here we have the OK message and this is the Tomcat web application manager right here okay so I hope you have enjoyed it you have learned something new for written articles you can visit our website linuxin.com and I will see you in the next video.